<laughs> First aid, yes. Now, there are different arteries in the body. Yeah. There's the temporal artery. Yeah. And the facial artery. Yeah. Cartoid. Mm -hmm. Subclavian artery, the bronchial artery or brachial artery. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then there's the femoral artery that goes right by the testicles of a man. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought that somebody, yes, had designed some technology. Mm -hmm that went uh, in or near the arteries of the actual human being. Yeah, yeah. I have a scar mm -hmm, on my right leg. Yes, uh, right next to my right testicle. Oh, <laughs> and I remember staying at Cliff's house. Mm -hmm. Now, it might be, yes, that if I did have a good surgeon, yes, if they dug in there, oh, they might find a little chip, yes, that caused an inflammation of that area. Yeah, <laughs> because as I remember it right now, somebody thought that I was going to be in the show, yes, and we were all going to watch the Budnick family suffer for the last eight years. Now, I'm going to want a surgeon, and I want it removed. Now, for all of you that thought, well, we can fabricate evidence. Yes, we can say the individual is schizophrenic and bipolar. Mm -hmm. In fact, we can allege that Paul thinks that every person has a biochip in them. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be funny to find out that there actually is something in my physical body oh, that can be used as evidence to sue sheriffs and police departments? Mm -hmm that I told you that it violated the laws of the United States to fabricate evidence where you did know the individual was innocent. Yes. You can't prove them guilty if they weren't in Squim, Washington. Oh, if they weren't in Jefferson County. Yes. See, you are innocent mm -hmm. because you can't prove the person guilty. Oh. Now, for every dog that thought it was funny torturing American citizens, mm -hmm. I'm going to want to speak to Marilyn today. Yes, I'm going to want my sons. Yes, and then I'm going to want every child in our family. Yes, to go through a complete checkup. Yes, using some very special technology. Oh, that locates any chip in the back of my neck, ooch, any chip in my leg, oh, and anything else in the bodies of those that are citizens. <laughs> and then we're going to employ a surgeon to remove all the implants from our physical bodies. <clears throat> now, it's possible, let's go ahead, <clears throat> that Benjamin Graham Budnick, while gestating in my wife's womb, yes, <laughs> she had a very painful ultrasound in Spokane, Washington, while we were married. I thought somebody stuck a very large needle in the actual placenta. <laughs> and that Benjamin has some nanotechnology in his body. <clears throat> now, I did design a way to have it removed. Oh, mm -hmm. see, what happens is I have Benjamin take a little pill that has a frequency in it. Yes, it's kind of a horse pill. <laughs> they have it available in medicine. Yes. These uh, technological pills that are that have uh, like a, a beeper in them, yeah. And nanotechnology is responsive to certain frequencies. Mm -hmm. That if he would just relax for three days, in a very quiet room, drinking juices, mm -hmm. that it's possible that the nanotechnology will follow the pill out of his body. Yes, and he'd shit most of it right now. Now, since we have the availability of putting this in the bodies of American citizens, I feel confident that we have the ability to have it removed. Now, for every idiot fuck that thinks that this is funny torturing American citizens, I want you to know, yes, that a jury of my peers...